this is Liu taking you live from the New York Photo Plus Expo. I'm here with the Wakira team and I'll be uh, showing you a few other companies as well including 3DR and Unique. This is a pre and 3D for the exhibitors and I'm going to take you right in there. Icon. Okay, the show? Oh, yep. All good. Alright, show to us now. As you can see, it's um, a setup day for most companies. Uh, they're expecting about 11,000 professional photographers to be attending this conference or expo. And, it's, and uh, right here, Sony is one of the major sponsors vendors that's participating in some construction going on there. 3DR's got your booth up and we have uh, Western Digital Unique. Unique. Here we have the Wakira booth. I believe uh, Wakira has quite a few new products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of the new products um, after this. Um, this is just an overview of it. So I have here, I believe, the 320 size um, racing quad. Uh, it's a 320, meaning it's not too big, not too small. Bigger than a 250, smaller than an X350 Pro. Uh, there's a new set of um, goggles called Goggle Trees. It's got 3D something new and the X350 Premium from IUAS uh, the USA office of Wakira and we have here the um, Scar X4 and my all time favorite Tele H500 so let's take a look at the Gogga Tree Gogga Tree comes in a nice case, a black case, just like the Fat Shark. Uh, well, what makes this goggle different from Goggle 2? It's not just a FPV goggle, but it is also a 3D glasses, which allows you to watch movies in 3D. So this pair of glasses um, is worth buying because you can actually do quite a few things. Not only use it as a FPV goggle, but at least watch movies too. It's a 5.8 gigahertz uh, reception and it's got this 45 degrees diagonal field of view and uh, the IPD distance is uh, 57 to 73 and it's adjustable for different eyes uh, it supports head tracking and it's got DVR with a micro SD card which allows you to record your flight as you see it on the goggle itself so that's pretty good. Uh, recording means that you could actually re record to your GPS coordinates if you have OSD and be able to look for your missing aircraft. Included is the head tracker as well as a USB cable and you actually get two sets of antenna one a whip antenna and a second cloverleaf antenna that's included too We next have the latest quadcopter by Wakira called the Runner 320. It's got the tilt rotors. Look at that. Collectively it tilts. And it's the size of a 320. Like what I said earlier, it's not too big. It's uh, between a 250 and a 350 size. 
It is made of solid uh, carbon fiber and I believe some steel too. Uh, it's a strong one. The battery compartment is actually beneath and it's in a cage of its own. What I was told was that this quadcopter, 220 size, allows you to play a game, a virtual game using the goggles. Uh, it would be laser tag, so you could be uh, shooting at each other, a virtual game. Next, I will show you a video demo, but I will still use it from your video goggles, and you'll be firing off your weapons through a radio. Hey, Next, we have the Voyager 3 with the GoPro gimbal. The uh, gimbal is um, ready now uh, and it allows you to carry GoPro on a Voyager 3. Last we have here the Navi watch. It's basically a remote control that you can put way on around your hand. It allows you to start and stop recording, um, take a photograph, and a few other functions. Um, We hope you enjoy this episode of Off the Radar. Until the next time, have a good day. And now a short preview of some of our recent FPV projects for the Missing Children Network. Oh, I have no idea. Where'd you get it? What? Yeah, yeah, that's brand new, right? In the Mobius, yeah.